Alright, so this is just going to be a quick prediction video for the upcoming Manny Pacquiao Chris Algieri fight coming to pay per view on November 22nd, 2014. Now, up until this point, I've actually never seen Chris Algieri fight. Up until the recent fight with Ruzan Provodnikov, I actually didn't even get to see that fight live. I just watched the replay of it. And uh, contrary to what Freddy Roach had to say, I actually do think that um, Chris Algieri won the fight. I actually thought he won every single round except for the first round where uh, Provodnikov knocked him down twice. Now, I wasn't actually really scoring the fight. I was actually just watching for technique mainly. But uh, based on what I saw, I did think that he won every round except for the first one. Besides that, the only other time that I actually saw Chris Algieri was uh, in little clips shown on uh, Manny Pacquiao, Chris Algieri 24-7. And when, you were actually, when they were actually comparing the clips from like Manny Pacquiao and when they were showing clips of Chris Algieri, like, the difference to my eyes was like night and day. Like Pacquiao was just so much faster than he was, so like in my eyes I just didn't see a chance for Chris Algieri to even win this fight. But uh, give credit to Chris Algieri, he is undefeated, he has 20 wins, 8 wins by way of knockout which means that he doesn't have too much knockout power, so I don't even see him posing much of a knockout threat to Manny Pacquiao. But uh, he does have some boxing skills. He's also a lot taller at 5'11", where Manny Pacquiao is only 5'6". And he does have a 2-inch uh, arm length advantage as well. Um, on top of that, he's also younger than Manny Pacquiao. He's actually 5 years younger at age 30. Uh, I believe Pacquiao is at 35 now. And uh, the way I actually see this fight going is uh, Manny Pacquiao is just going to keep landing that straight left hand all day long. Like, uh, Pacquiao has fought tall fighters in the past, for example, um, Oscar De La Hoya and Antonio Margarito. And uh, it seems like against those guys, he always won by a really wide margin. So I don't see his height really posing that much of a threat to Manny Pacquiao. And uh, I just see that left hand, I, don't, I just don't see him stopping it, he's just going to land it through the guard over and over again. So I feel like that's going to be the most effective punch of the fight. And um, as for the way the fight's going to end, I see it being either uh, a late round stoppage or a unanimous decision win for Manny Pacquiao. Um, I see it being a stoppage if um, towards the later rounds, if Chris Algieri actually tries to win the fight, then I see Pacquiao stopping him. But uh, if, if Chris Algieri goes into survival mode like a lot of uh, previous opponents of Manny Pacquiao have, then in that case, I'm going to say it's a unanimous decision win for Manny Pacquiao. So um, yeah, this, I'm pretty excited for this fight, just like any fight. And um, go luck to Chris Algieri, but I think Pacquiao's going to win. And hopefully at the end of this fight, we finally get to see Manny Pacquiao against Floyd Mayweather sometime in 2015. Pacquiao is the better boxer and he will go down in history as the better boxer because he's done better than you for one thing 